Hello, hello everyone. The World Cup is here and I decided to make US cupcake toppers made out of candy melts. It's pretty easy to make, so let's just get started, shall we? So all you need for these are cupcakes and blue, red, white, and yellow candy melts. To start, you will also need a picture of the US logo which I found online and then flip the picture. To make your life easier, you can find the flip picture on my Facebook page. The link will be down below in the description box. Don't forget to like my page while you're there. So I took the picture and taped it into the cookie pan and then taped a piece of wax paper on top so it wouldn't move around. So like I said, you are going to need candy melts. I am first using dark blue candy melts which I melted in 30 second intervals in the microwave and then placed it in the piping bag. You want to pipe anything that has blue on it, so the outline around the shield, then the stripes at the bottom, then the stars, and then of course the pentagon, hexagon on the soccer ball. Do this to all the logos that you are doing. Then put this in the freezer for 5 minutes to let it harden. In the meantime, you want to melt the red candy melts. Once the blue has hardened, pipe the red letters and the top where the stars are and again, pop it back into the freezer for another 5 minutes or until it has hardened. Next color I did was yellow. You don't need a lot of it, just around the shield, so this one is pretty quick and easy to do. So once you're done with that, put it in the freezer and then while you melt your white candy melts or white chocolate, place it in the piping bag and then pipe pretty much everything else. It's okay if you put it on top of the other colors because it won't show and in a way it's better that you do because it makes the chocolate a bit more thicker, preventing from cracking. And once again, put it in the freezer for 5 minutes. Once it has hardened, you can peel the US logo off the wax paper. Now for the cupcakes, I had big chocolate cupcakes in the patriotic cupcake liners, which you will find during this time of the year because of Memorial Day and then 4th of July. I then frosted the cupcakes with cream cheese frosting and then placed these cupcake toppers right on top. And that's it. This is how you make cupcakes for the World Cup. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and what team you guys are cheering for. Also, this video was part of a collaboration at Tastemade, so check out some of these other awesome videos by clicking on the picture as well as the link down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching.